So this next one. So I'm 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 recently uh, I, I've been I've been trying to complete Gollum, the Lord of the Rings Gollum, but I hit a glitch where my character just keeps dying and falling to the ground when I load into the level and I can't beat it. So I'm just going to put out a review that says the game sucks and don't play it because I can't beat it. But surprisingly, um, there's been a, a new Lord of the Rings game that looks like it's actually going to be pretty cool. So. Um, some of you may know what I'm talking about if you watched, if you've seen all the trailers that have been coming out in the last week or so. Uh, let's check it out. We're gonna watch the trailer for her. Are you a gym rat? Or even just somebody who works to stay healthy through exercise? If so, I have found your new favorite color. Purple. Purple Works Nutrition offers a pre-workout manufactured right here in the good old US of A. Their pre-workout is formulated by a healthcare professional with a simple, easy to understand list of all natural ingredients with no preservatives or artificial flavors. Action Pack members, in the words of the mighty Grom Hellscream, why be strong enough when you can be stronger still? By harnessing the power of purple. Purple Works Pre-Workout is the ultimate pre-workout supplement that targets tried and true ingredients that deliver energy, focus, and strength. You can find this pre-workout at purpleworksnutrition.com. You can find a link in the description down below. The Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. This is an announcement trailer. PS5 games coming out from PlayStation. We're going to like the video. The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria, come into PlayStation 5. I don't think, and, and it's interesting because the description is very bare bones, but I mean, do you really need to know more? I mean, you're returning to Moria, that's it. Um, a lot of people are saying that they're trying to redeem the Lord of the Rings Gollum because of this game. I haven't seen this trailer yet, but people have said it looks good, so. You like Lord of the Rings, Mike? I do. I've seen all of them. All right. Let's check it out. Got a one minute and three second trailer. Here we go. Our story is more than what hobbits and elves know. It is time we told it ourselves. With hammer and axe, we mine and sculpt. Across Middle Earth, delving. All right. Riches. Yet the greatest treasure remains out of our reach Moria. So we're building. We got our dwarves. Ooh. Oh, where is that? Yeah, a bunch of different enemies. Rally together. It's time we took back our home. All right. Mm. So that's coming out this year, too. And there's only six months left in this year, but it says fall, so... Watch for this. I'm actually excited for this. People are comparing it to, like, Minecraft, which is funny because you're going into the Mines of Moria. But as, a, as far as being, a, like, you're building and crafting and survi survival craft type game. But there are other games that are like this. They're probably mm -hmm. actually inspired by Lord of the Rings and Moria and stuff, where you go, you know, you have a mine and you build up, and, and, and it's not just, so in my, I don't know if you've played Minecraft or know what that is, but in Minecraft, it's a first-person shooter style, like you're, you're running, it's, you're not, no guns, but, you know, you're running around, you have your, your tools that you make for your, yourself, and you make your, your objects and you're mining in the ground and stuff, and it's just you. Here, you're, you know, you're obviously, you're building back, you're building back better. You're making Moria great again. Um, 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 but, you know, and you have combat and all that stuff, so this is like an expansion on the ideas that have, that have, have in games that were actually already inspired by Lord of the Rings and the Mines of Moria and the Dwarves and stuff, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, so this is... And it looks it looks good. This looks This looks great. Uh, and it go oh well, that's what I was to say. It goes along with the lore as well. So the the person you're hearing talking, I believe, is the voice actor. It or sounds at least like the voice. Yeah, it sounds like the voice actor for Gimli, but but it's basically it's Gimli, okay? Because in in the Lord of the Rings, you know, the lore, 
of what happened after after the, the the Peter Jackson movies, Gimli would have gone back and actually retaken Moria, and um, he built himself a very nice kingdom there, and he did all of that before they sailed to the Undying Lands at the end of the Peter Jackson movies. Um, so this looks cool. I, I I've always basically it's awesome that, that because my biggest complaint about about Minecraft is that the enemies suck. And so it's really great to be able to see like a game where it's survival craft, you're trying to build, you're mining, you're doing all that stuff just like in, in, in um, Minecraft, but then you also have combat. So, um, and you, well, it will combat and then it's not just you, you, you control NPC characters that are going to do stuff with you. So right. anyway, give us your thoughts. What are you thinking? It looked pretty good. I thought there was a, it looked like there's a lot of variety in it, a lot of different mm -hmm. things that go along with it. I've seen water, I've seen like spiders, I've seen that uh, what would look like an octopus coming out of the ground. Looked like I'm some kind of now. big. Oh, was it? I don't know what that was. Is it an orc or something? I mean, the big. Um, and it's. I think it's supposed to be a troll, but the problem. Troll, that the, yeah. It looks different than any of the trolls that we've seen so far. So it's just like. A different style of troll than we've seen in the movies. Right, so far. right, right. Yeah. Sorry. And you gotta have a good voice too on there. You gotta have a good Scottish voice to do the, for this. So I think they got the right person to kind of narrate it too. But yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I think it'll be fun to play. Let me see this. So obviously, I'm looking up playtime. I don't know what kind of story it's gonna have. But this is going to be one of those games where you just build and survive, so... Sorry. No, um... One second. It's not telling me the name of the voice actor. <sighs> Lord of the Rings. Okay, but I will tell you... Gimli. John Reese davies He, uh... That's just, yeah, that sounds like him. I've heard him speak before. I'm wondering if he... Yeah. He's not credited, but he's the voice and the actor for Gimli. He's also the voice for Treebeard in the movies. But he sounds, sounds like him. I mean, it sounds like him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's funny, too, because he was the tallest. He was the tallest of the cast. Giant guy. And he plays little Gimli. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me check this out. If it's on here. Lord of the Rings Online. Lord of the Rings Journeys of Middle Earth. No. Okay, so we don't even have it on here yet. So I don't know how much it's going to cost. But again, I think this would again... I think this would again be another $40 game. Depending on the story. Like if it's going to be... If it is going to be story driven and have... Um, like I said, a cool a cool story to go along with it. I can see it right. being, you know, a sixty dollar game. But if it's just a survival craft game, um, with you know obviously cool mechanics and stuff that they're showing off here, um, but you know a Lord of the Rings survival craft game, I would say forty bucks. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, let's uh, check out the comments then. Um. I know the graphics. I know graphics are not everything, but some games franchises just deserve to be a triple A game. Still better than Gollum. I think everything that came. Yeah, Gollum was terrible. Don't don't. If you see, if you when when my when my other Mike, I'm telling you when my um review for Gollum comes out, go check that out because you've got to see how bad that game looks. <laughs> um, I think you got us on it. Yeah. It's got to be frustrating. Yeah. You know what I just realized? So this is... I'm looking at this... Uh, remind me, because this has started happening. Where now, when we're when I go to play these trailers, it, it lowers the quality of the video for whatever reason, just automatically to save what it just... But the graphics, what do you think of the... Gra I mean, it, I don't think... I mean, it's not like Call of Duty photorealistic, but it's... it's um, right. I think these it, graphics think look fine. It might be geared... Maybe to a wider audience of younger, mm -hmm. younger and older, maybe because it's kind mm -hmm. of cartoon characters, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you? Did you ever see the old cartoons of Lord of the Rings or, or some of that? It yeah. reminds me of that a little bit. 
but yeah, um, it's it's okay. I think it's I think they're trying to reach a wider audience and stuff like that. So. This is the old Hobbit game. Well, yeah, yeah, very similar. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, obviously the graphics here are would be considered no. terrible for nowadays because they're old. But yeah, the this fact, is. Hey, that was, that was it. Yeah, this was for the original Xbox. So yeah, it's like a cartoonish. Well, the thing is, is that one of the most popular games ever played, you know, has the highest player base is Minecraft, and the people who mm -hmm. play it are kids. So when you make a game that's going to have Minecraft elements, if you want that game to be successful, yeah. you've got to make it uh, uh, accessible to kids. So yeah, this does, yeah, this looks, it's not, it's not like Last of Us 2, like where you're watching an animated movie, but um, you are, you are getting, I think quality, I think this actually is quality graphics. I don't know why this person's talking, about, I actually don't like this comment, so whatever. But anyway, um, the Lord of the Rings sure is having a rough having a rough year i think that this looks great i don't know yeah okay i want a fully explorable wor open world middle earth with a map similar to elden ring in size or more okay uh i will not judge this yet in theory this is actually a fun game i which i agree with um yeah. just bring back a lord of the rings game like the old times okay they're talking about if people want remasters of older older lord of the rings games from the studio that brought you gollum no, as far as I can tell, Data Lake did not work on it. Data Lake is the game from Gollum, so this is made by actually made by different people. Different people, yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly, so some of the comments here are bringing up some points that people have, but actually, I'm telling you, like most people have said, this is this is right. This is and, good. Um, are there young? Are, how many of them are young kids that would be interested in that that are making comments? I would say there's probably few, but that's just a guess. I think so. I think younger kids would like this. I think it'd be fun. It, yeah, it looks I, like a I'm. I'm gonna tell. I play a game called Grounded, which it, mm -hmm. which it has a story and it is a sur but it is a survival craft game. And in between playing the games that I play for reviews and stuff, I play that game. And I've, I'm telling you, I've spent. Let me. I mean, I'll show you because I, I got it on my thing right here. It, it tells you, I've spent. I mean, 297 hours. You know. I mean, that's. Wow. I play I play that game a lot. Actually, just real quick, if you really want to see something, uh, Total War Warhammer Two. I played eight hundred eight hundred and fifteen hours of this game. If you want to get addicted to a game, this game is like gamer heroin. I'm telling you, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that game is that game is awesome. But yeah, any game where you can basically like build your own thing is gonna be is is I, I'm into. You know, it's just like build your own thing. Maybe there's not like a big story that you're trying to follow, but you're just building your own thing. I really like that. Basically, the survival craft games I, I'm, I'm into. So I, I'm excited for this. And a lot of people are excited for this. I know that we're seeing um, I know that we're seeing some negative comments here. And I think that has to do more with Lord of the Rings Gollum. Um, right. They just have a bad taste in from that. And they think it's going to be this is going to be the same. Yeah. And I don't think so. Totally different developer, and I think it looks good. I mean, I think this looks good. I Man, I don't blame him for feeling that way. Give it yeah. a chance. Yeah, yeah, please, please, give it a chance. Especially if it's got the same voice actor. That tells you that they at least spent some money on this thing. Gollum didn't have the voice acting, and Gollum was weird. Let's we'll put, put it that way. But anyway, uh, we've we've uh, been on this one for a little bit now, so we got to move forward. Um, on to the next one. Here we go. Hey guys, some of you may know that I was in the army for 10 years. Uh, I have since left. That makes me a veteran. Um, but uh, I have a veteran buddy. Some of you know him as Salty Skipper. Some of you know him as his real name, uh, Stephen Russell. Him and I have both um, are trying to start our own business, me with my YouTube channel and him with a comic book. So check out what he has to say about that right now. Hey guys. My name's Steven Russell. I'm the uh, story creator and artist for the series called Tales of Nihilism. It's about a normal person living in a world of superheroes and how they would have to navigate and react to that world. The series is digitally up on Global Comics 
and you can purchase PDFs. Uh, we will also be uh, premiering the first physical copy at Plastic City Comic Con August 19th in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, near Boston. So if you want to come out and support the series or you want to purchase some ad space in the physical comic book, feel free to reach out at uh, Tales of Nihilism. Thank you. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.